Good morning everyone, it's actually Wednesday morning and my week feels all topsy-turvy because I haven't spoken to you guys and I haven't been at work. Um, I've not been very well at all, I'm still not very well to be honest, I feel really rubbish. Um, but the show must go on. Um, I wasn't at work Monday or Tuesday because I was poorly. Um, so I'm going back in today, I've got uni today so it's going to be hectic. Um, but yeah, we'll get through. Um, but yesterday I had to go out in the afternoon because Archie had a groomer's appointment and appointments with this grooming lady <laughs> are like gold dust. So I had to stick to my appointment. Um, and I took Winnie with me because there was no one at home. So I did a little bit of filming while I was there. So I'll pop that in now. We changed outfits and we had a little autumnal photo shoot in the leaves. And now we're having a little explore because we still have like 35 minutes until Archie's ready to collect so got some time to kill. But yeah, so it was quite nice to be out, but I'm really like not very well. Um, I'm worried I'm coming down with something more serious or that my Crohn's is flaring up or something because I just don't feel good. Um, but yeah, like I said, the show must go on. <sighs> Off to work I go. Hey guys. So, sorry the lighting is really bad, it's um, it's about 8 o'clock and I need to head off to work in a minute and the lighting in here isn't great, but I'm always really honest with you guys, but today I'm going to be super honest and just tell you what's been going on. And for the last couple of weeks I haven't felt like myself at all. Um, I can't remember how much I told you yesterday, but um, I didn't go to uni yesterday because I just couldn't face it and it's ridiculous because that's only my third week but I'm really struggling with it. I'm finding it very hard to go back into that mindset and the truth of the matter is that I'm feeling really low at the moment. I don't want to get emotional on camera. I've been crying all morning to my boyfriend so I really don't want to cry again on camera because I'm sure somebody will be horrible to me about it but I just don't feel well. Hey guys, it's now Friday and my weekend has started. Look at all this mess in the background. Oh. <laughs> the dogs are fighting as well. Guys, guys, can we? No, please. <laughs> um, so it's Friday, my weekend has started. I'm home from work and I'm feeling a tiny bit better than I felt yesterday. Yesterday I felt absolutely dreadful, like just couldn't stop crying, I just felt horrendous. Um, but today I feel a little bit more stable, I guess is the word. My emotions are a bit more stable, I don't feel quite as terrible today. Um, but yeah, it, my weekend has started anyway and I have something to show you. Things are starting to arrive for our Christmas gift guides and today we've retrieved this Barkwell Christmas tart from Michaelmas Munchies. So it's basically like a dog friendly, um, well it's called a Barkwell tart. So I'm guessing it's like a dog friendly Bakewell tart, but it's a Christmas thing. So I would have thought it was more a play on a mince pie, but I don't know. Um, either way, it's super cute and it's been sent to us to photograph for our stocking filler gifts for dogs blog post so I'm actually going to photograph it now and give it to them now because um, I don't want to leave it lying around till Christmas um, 
yeah, so this is them. Michaelmas Munchies, handmade dog treats, wheat and dairy free. There's some of the things that they offer and I will leave their link in the description below. Hello, it is about half past four, I think. And um, I'm just chilling here on the couch with Winnie and Archie. And um, I've just had to get changed because I was wearing this cute little dress and I was drinking a cup of tea. And Archie jumped on me and spilt the tea all over me. So I've just had to get changed. I've put a jumper and jeans on because it's quite chilly. Um, and I'm going out for dinner tonight with my best friend because I haven't seen her in a while. Um, so we're gonna go get a Nando's, cheap and cheerful. Um, I'm a bit nervous about it though because I don't feel great and I'm worried about going out and socializing, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll enjoy it once I get there. Um, I was supposed to be going out tomorrow night for another friend's birthday and it was like the whole group of us going um, but I've had to cancel because mum and dad are away at a wedding this weekend in Devon and they need me to puppy sit tomorrow night um, I think during the day my brothers are popping in and out um, but in the evening there's not going to be anyone there I don't think so they need me to puppy sit tomorrow night and they have looked after Archie and Winnie so many times that I felt like obviously I can't really say no and I don't mind doing it anyway um, but yeah so I can't go out tomorrow night now but that's fine because it was almost kind of a relief because I'm just not in the frame of mind for a big group gathering um, but yeah so I'm just chilling here for a bit there was lots I was meant to do this afternoon but I'm just gonna leave it till tomorrow Hi guys, so it's Saturday and I will not show you what I look like at the moment because I have not done my hair or makeup yet. But I have just had some posts delivered and it's the loveliest stuff so I thought I would show you it when it's all in its packaging. So this first um, parcel, sorry you can hear the dogs walking around, I swear they go on little adventures every time I start filming. <laughs> There's Winnie, she's just getting into bed so hopefully their feet will stop making a noise now. Um, so yeah, all of these goodies are for my Christmas gift guides on the blog um, and they will start going up sort of mid-November. Um, so things are starting to arrive now so I can use them and photograph them. But this first parcel is from House of Henry and the little label says to Chloe, a little something for Winnie and Archie for Christmas. Lots of love, Henry. So cute. And I also got two little bows for their collar as well in the parcel which is adorable um so i'm going to photograph this in its packaging and then open it and show you it um then i got a little key ring from ruth's handmade with love and again i'll photograph that in the packaging and then open it and i think it says all of my kids have paws or something like that which is cute and then this is from the cozy canine company and it is a dog walking bag in the Dachshund fabric to match the Dachshund tote that I already have from her. I cannot wait to get into this and start using it. So again, I will photograph this and then I will show you what everything looks like. So I have taken some quick initial photos of everything and now I can show you out of the packaging. So this first item is a dog walking bag from Cozy Canine Company. It has a built in poo bag holder which is just brilliant it is I believe waterproof on the inside it has a little popper on the back so you can pop things in the pocket and the strap is, oops knocking my mug and the strap is long enough to put it across your body which I was really hoping for so that is the first item it is perfect I'm hoping to get some photographs of it in action today then I have my little key ring from Ruth's Handmade Creations, which is adorable. I'm gonna pop that straight on my keys. And then I have my little collar bows, two Christmas bandanas. Of course, this one's gonna be Winnie's and this one's gonna be Archie's. Um, so yeah, I have two Christmas bandanas and a Christmas Santa sack for Archie and Winnie and it's folded up at the moment it's actually really big so so cute I've um, still got some more photos to take of this one because I want to photograph the dogs in the bandanas and I want to photograph this um, full of 
presents it'll be like a staged photo because obviously i can't wait till christmas it'll be far too late to feature it so um yeah i've got some more photos to take of those and obviously i want to photograph this in action but i'm feeling very lucky today it's very kind of people to send me these things to feature so thank you very much hey guys so it is about three o'clock now and i'm finally ready for the day um I know it's taken me like all day to get ready but I'm counting it as a victory because this is the first time in like a week that I've actually washed my hair and done my hair so I'm counting the small victories. I'm dressed, my hair is washed, I've got makeup on, I even plucked my eyebrows a little bit so definite small victories today. I went out for dinner with my best friend last night and I told her everything about how I was feeling. She's got some stuff going on as well so I felt like she kind of understood. Um, and then I came home and I told my boyfriend everything that I've been feeling and all that stuff and just sort of like confided in him properly and even though he never really knows how to react it just made me feel better to get it all out. Um, so we're going to head out now, we're going to go over to my parents house because they are away for the weekend at a wedding and um, I'm sort of puppy sitting this afternoon and evening. So we're gonna head around there and I'm gonna take my camera, try and get some photos of all the dogs and probably try and take them all out on a walk as well. So yeah. So we've tried to take these four for a walk and it has been an absolute disaster. <laughs> Jeez, it's a nightmare. We're heading home. We've literally been out of the house for like 10 minutes and we're going home. Good morning, it is Sunday and I am lit looking spotty and delightful um, but I'm about to go and clean out the rabbit shed so I've got my sweatshirt on, no point putting makeup on because after I've finished I'll probably want to have a bath um, and then I don't know what my plans for the rest of the day are, Will has gone to golf um, so the day is mine really. Um, so I've got my black sacks <laughs> and my iPad because I always watch a film or a documentary or something while I clean out the rabbits. And yeah, off I go. Hi, I'm back in this spot again and it is 12 o'clock now. Um, I've cleaned out most of the rabbits, however, I've run out of black bags. So I'm going to go to Tesco's and pick up a few bits, have a look at their clothes, like their new autumn winter clothes. And yeah, just get out of the house really, because this weekend I felt a lot more positive than I did the rest of the week. So I want to try and keep that momentum going. But I'm shattered after cleaning out the rabbits. It's quite a full on job when you've got a rabbit shed and you've got lots of rabbits because that is lots of litter trays to bend down and pick up and empty and all that and I'm quite unfit so I'm quite out of breath now. So I think what I'll do is I'll drive over to Tesco's, um, I will get a Costa and then I will have a wander around the supermarket um, and just pick up a few bits, so yeah. Hi guys, so it is Monday and I've decided that I'm going to put last week's vlog and this week's vlog together because um, obviously I was absolutely miserable last week and I don't want that to be a whole vlog like of just me being miserable. So I'm feeling a lot better this week, I've got some fun things planned, oh that is bright, I've got some fun things planned. Um, especially for the weekend I'm going to discover dogs on Sunday um, and it's half term as of Friday so yeah I've got some slightly more fun things planned this week um, I'm not starting the week very well though because it is actually half past eight and that's normally the time that I like to arrive at work and I'm only just leaving because I decided to get up and do my hair because I haven't obviously done my hair or done anything with my face for a week because I've been feeling so bad and um, 
decided to do my hair and it took me forever and then I realized it was 20 past eight so I'm late. Look at the sun. It is bright orange red like my camera can't really pick it up but it is so weird. Hey guys, so it's quarter to four and I've just got home from work. You might be wondering why I'm showing you the sky and stuff. It's because the sky has been doing the weirdest thing today. The sun is like bright red and um, for most of the day it's been like yellow outside, like bright yellow. The air has seemed yellow because of the sun and the cloud cover. I imagine it's all something to do with um, Hurricane Ophelia, which is making its way over to us. Um, so yeah, I imagine it's something to do with that, but either way, it's super weird. I received two new items for our Christmas gift guide today. These are from Growlies. We love our Growlies tags, they're so funny. And these are two Christmas ones. They both say official turkey taster, and I've got one in red and one in green. So those are definitely gonna be featured in my gifts for dogs post and um, when that goes up. So funny, love it. I've just sat down to have a cup of tea and some snacks and the wind has really picked up so I'm gonna have to go out and feed and water the rabbits, um, basically do their nighttime routine early and like batten down the hatches of the shed and everything um, before it gets too bad and I don't want it to start raining or whatever and then have to go out there in the pouring rain and wind. Um, but yeah, I've got myself a little snack. The living room is looking terrible, I will show you. So I've got my Halloween mug, some Halloween cakes, and a few crisps. Um, but where I was feeling so bad last week, the place is just a tip. There's just stuff everywhere. I got Archie a new antler chew yesterday and he's already started like chewing on the insides of it. These are supposed to be like so long lasting. He's had a couple of them before. One of them he lost and one of them he destroyed. And now he's got this one and I bought him the biggest one that I could find in the um, in the cheapest section but even this was like eight pounds do you want it you are looking so cute at the moment so cute take it then no you don't want it take it <laughs> no guys so excuse my lovely outfit I am in my pajamas it's only five o'clock but it is so gloomy today when I left work it was quite sunny um, but then I came home and I just feel rubbish again there's just so much going on at the moment um, I don't feel the same as I did last week but I don't feel good so um, I've just been chilling and eating junk food and watching um, stuff on Netflix but now I'm going to do um, some Latin work for my class tomorrow uh, because you guys will know from earlier on in the vlog that I didn't go to my lectures last week at university. Um, so I need to catch up with my Latin class. I don't actually have a lecture tomorrow because the undergraduates are all graduating tomorrow. So um, a lot of the master's cohort this year is made up, made up sorry, of people who stayed on from their BA. So they are all celebrating their graduation tomorrow and they don't wanna to go to a lecture from six till 9 p.m. So um, we've got a double lecture next week and we don't have one this week. So I don't need to prepare for my lecture, but I do need to do my Latin. And this is the book I'm using in case anyone's interested. Um, I don't know if Latin is still something that lots of people do. Um, I had never considered learning it until this class was offered. Um, and I just wanted to make the most out of my Wednesdays if I have to go into uni from nine till uh, from six till nine, I may as well go in earlier and learn something. So yeah, it's called 
Wheelox Latin. It's the seventh edition. I'm sorry if my camera's like spinning this round so you can't read it. Um, but it's really great. It's huge, but it has several chapters, um, lots of chapters, and each chapter has a set of exercises to do at the end. So I'm about to do chapter two's exercises and yeah. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit that I was wearing on Monday. I just don't care. Um, I, I've just got home from work and I've got lots to do this afternoon. My lecture is cancelled. I think I told you that yesterday, I'm not sure. My lecture for this week is cancelled. My Latin class is still on, but the weather is miserable. It's freezing cold. I have so much to do and so I'm thinking maybe just not going. <laughs> um, it's not compulsory. It's literally just something I'm doing extracurricular. I, it's not compulsory at all, I don't have to go. So um, I think I will probably just do the exercises um, for chapter three in the workbook. Yesterday I did chapter two. Um, so I think I will just complete chapter three over the weekend um, and just not worry about it for another week. Um, Archie is sniffing my bag. <laughs> There's nothing in there, I promise. But yeah, I just got some more blog mail and I wanted to show them to you. So this parcel is from a um, company called Land of Dogs and they have sent me a beautiful festive rope lead, which is gorgeous. It's green and red. It's quite chunky, so probably a little bit heavy for my two, but for the sake of photos, it's going to be perfect for Christmas photos. Um, love it. It's got red whipping beautiful i'm very excited about that uh but the main item that they've sent me is their christmas box and they i believe they said they were available from monday so if they are available i will leave the link in the description i'll leave the link to land of dogs in the description anyway but there's a little christmas card in there and then if you open it up i don't want to take everything out because i'm going to photograph it but we have this adorable Christmas bone that says Land of Dogs. It's a squishy bone. I don't think it has a squeaker in it, which is fine by me. So yeah, that's adorable. Little snow covered. Is that pine? I'm not sure. Then we have this is their own brand stuff. 80% fish dog free dog treats, brain free. And then I think we have the same thing, but chicken. Oh yeah, it says 80% poultry. And Archie is real interested in them. <laughs> and then we have, I know I've ended up taking it all out anyway. We have organic hemp oil, pore balm with organic hemp oil. Safe to lick, 100% natural. So this is to put on their little pores. I suppose to stop with dryness in this cold weather. And this is concentrated shampoo made with organic myrrh, organic ginger, organic spearmint, and organic sweet orange essential oils. SLS and paraben free. Archie really wants these trees. <laughs> this looks good. Let's see if I can smell it without. Nope, I don't want to risk doing it with one hand. I'll end up dropping it. But yeah, so how cute is that? So I'm going to photograph that. These are fab, I think they'll be great for training because they're a nice little size. Hi guys, I am out again. It's two o'clock now. I've just been to the post office, well, the sorting office, which is on the way to my mum and dad's from my house so that I could pick up a parcel and... Oh, that was a tight corner. And um, I'm just gonna head over to my mum and dad's now. I haven't seen my mum in a few days again, and um, at least I don't think I have. Honestly, the days at the moment are all just rolling into one. Hello, I have just got home from work and it is Thursday, and I have come home to some lovely blogger mail. It seems like I'm being sent loads of stuff lately. I don't want you to think that I'm just sent all this free stuff all the time, I'm really not. Um, but I'm doing my Christmas gift guides. Um, so some 
small businesses have asked to get involved and I've mainly focused on small businesses because obviously I have my own little Etsy shop and I want to help other small businesses too so that's what I have primarily focused on this year um, although I am going to do a post about luxury items too don't worry I'm not being sent <laughs> luxury items um, but I've got a couple of things in mind that I would like to purchase and feature or just to feature in general so yeah I thought I would show you what I've got today First of all, I have this super cute little pin badge that says dog person, and that's from Lazy Pencil Company. Love them. Then for my gifts for dogs post, I have been sent the most beautiful personalized blankets. Archie out the way. This is obviously Archie and Winnie. They are perfect. They're red for Christmas. They are so soft. And these were sent by rubyspanieldesigns.com. So they're is the website for you to go and have a look. I'm pretty sure they can pop any breed on here. I'll show you in a minute, I've got a list. And they can all be personalized and these are 15 pounds. Um, and there's lots of different colors too, but like I said, I'll show you. So here we go, I will pause on this for a minute so that you can pause it and try and find um, your breed to make sure that they are on there. And then we've got all the fleece colors. So there's lots of options and it says the colour of the dog breed can be changed to match the colour of your dog which I think is fab. So say you have a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel but yours is black and white, it can be changed. I think that's fab. There's even cross breeds, look there's a Daxi Jack. <laughs> Cute. Then this is a parcel that I've finally been able to collect from the sorting office and it's from Erica's Paws for Walkies Outdoors. I love that. So you can find her on Facebook here at Erica's Paws. Um, Heather is the lady behind this company and she makes all sorts. She does pajamas, she does um, fleeces, she does coats, she does drying coats, so like the toweling coats. Um, she honestly does all sorts, but she does um, these little walkie sets too, which is so cute. So we have a coat that's got cute matching lining. So it's this orange tartan, so it's very seasonal. I've tried the coat on Archie and Winnie and it fits Archie better than it fits Winnie. So I will probably photograph it on Archie. Normally she would take your dog's measurements and do a made to measure coat, but she um, just guessed for my two because she does have standard sizes too but they can be made to measure i've got a little bandana this is a um treat bag so it's got a velcro velcro bit here so you can attach it to your dog's lead or through your belt loop or something and you can have your treats in there this is a poo bag holder so again it has a velcro bit here so you can attach it to your lead and then it opens with velcro at the side so you can pop in a load of poo bags and then you can pull them out of this little opening at the bottom so I think that's really clever and then last but not least I have my little poo bag holder so again you can attach it to your lead or to your belt or to your bag or whatever and when your dog poos you pick your poo up and you can pop it in here <laughs> and carry it home that way so you don't have to be carrying around bags of poo and then obviously just empty it when you get home. I think this is a really good idea, it's really cute that it all matches and I have a gorgeous orange rope lead from um, Bramble and Friends which will match that set perfectly so I think I'm going to do a photo shoot with that with a little Archibald all dressed up. Why are you shaking? Are you excited? Good morning everyone, it's Friday, but not only is it Friday, it is the day before half term, so I just have to get through this morning, and then I've got a week off, and I've got lots of stuff going on during half term. Sorry I was at a really weird angle then, this scarf is making me hold my head up funny, but um, it's very chilly this morning, very damp. <laughs> So I've got my big coat on and my big scarf and I am ready for Friday.
last weekend, so the last weekend of half term, I am going to Brussels for Planacom. So I'm very busy and excited, but busy. toy box with his antler loving life in her bed <laughs> you're burying yourself Winnie <laughs> cutie so guys, unfortunately I didn't film on Sunday um, for the vlog, but I filmed a lot for my Instagram stories. I went to Discover Dogs, which was in London. It was organised by the Kennel Club and we were very kindly invited by the Kennel Club so I could take Winnie with me. We had a really great time. We saw lots of our dog blogging friends. We bought some things from some lovely stalls and it was nice to meet the people behind a lot of these businesses. But yeah, I was rubbish and I forgot to um, film for the vlog. So here's a little snippet of our day. I hope you really enjoyed this week's vlog, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.